Who, honey, child. Okay, we back. I don't know what was going on with that last message, y'all. But that last message and the people and their energy is... The... You just got to pray for those people. Just pray. Okay. Because that energy was like... Kind of like... A little bit too aggressive. So you got some aggressive people watching you. Okay. Or, or jealous of you. Or... Look, Ace of Swords or whatever the case may be. So that's probably why you... That's probably why I was so very aggressive in that last reading. Like, I had to just real life just bulk up or something like that. Like I had to get big or some shit like that. All right, let's see. <laughs> All right, let's see. Swear guys, universe, ancestors of the highest white lights. Please give me clear and precise messages. I had to get my energy together. Because I don't know what was up with that last reading, Okay. You got to get big on people and shit like that. Like, you got a real loud bite. Okay? They they, they, they can use, like, a chihuahua or something. Because you ain't doing what they tell you to do or what they want you to do. Like, what's up with these people? What's up with them? Like, what's up with them? One, 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 you do what you please. You do as you go and you do as you move. You do as you say. Okay? Like I said, what they eat doesn't make you shit. So, let's see. Spirit guys, universe, ancestors of the highest white light. Please give me clear and precise messages. Uh, thank you, please. Uh, seven of Cups. So either y'all have a lot of opportunities coming your way or a lot of options around you or you have a lot of opportunists. Okay, so people see you as like a uh, opportunity. Like, oh, if I good with this person, man or woman, 144, I can have all these different things going on in my life. What? Look, and the tower poking out. I'm telling you, it's backfiring on whoever had those kind of mindsets or whatever like when you step with step in the energy of like freeing yourself and releasing yourself from the matrix as well as the outdated um mindset it pushes you to step into your potential and it's like are you ready to become your own boss your own um are you ready to just be your own boss just pretty much I was hearing something else, y'all. I was hearing your own Freemason. But I guess, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Might be something new, but I definitely was hearing it. So let's see. The Six of Cups. Hmm. Maybe something from your past life could be affecting you. Or your kids or children. Something of that nature. Let's see. Six of Cups temperance who so something from your past life could be on hold or on reserve or spirit is putting something on pause that's what i'm getting pertaining to past life situation ten of wands you feel like it was just too much so it's like you're taking matters into your own hand and doing what you feel that you should do when it comes to something from your past now this energy could be a past life with a relate a connection or it could be a job you recently was just working for. Oh, Ace of Swords. So that's the truth. Okay. A job, a relationship, a home setting, an environment, a friends group, social group, whatever the case may be. You could have felt very stagnant or stuck. Okay. Hmm. Seven of Cups in reverse with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Maybe you guys feel like something is impossible to happen. Like, it's impossible for me to, like, get this person or have this perfect. What? <laughs> I said this perfect. Somebody says, like, you're just too damn perfect. Like, I guess this person is, like, you're too much of a perfectionist or something like that. Not, like, I don't know. I'm hearing improvise, okay? Somebody is into, like, a lot of big words, Okay. You're going to have to school me on, on some of those words, you know, sir. Okay? Because somebody is, like, very highly intelligent. They have a very high Q as you. But it's like when this person sees you or when they watch you or something like that, they be like, wow. Like, how could you, like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even trying to stress it too much. But it's not in a bad way. It's in a positive way. 444 is somebody that sees you, like, very positive it's like wow i can do so many things with you i can like 
get a lot of things done, someone feels like that they can get the job done with you. Just plain, plain, curly. That's just the, just the gist of it. What's this Ace of Swords? So someone want to know is like, is now the right time? <laughs> you can be a very moody person. Like this person probably see you and like, hold on. Like you got some mood swings now. Like one minute you can feel this way, the next minute you can feel that way. But this person has to understand you to where it's the, like, when you are a person that transmutes energy and you're very empathic, you're going to pick up other people's energy. So sometimes when you feel as though you don't want to absorb their energy, it's not like you're intentionally absorbing the people's energy around you. You just so happily absorb it because it's like your spirit guides are getting you used and into the habit of feeling everyone's energy around you. Because some of you guys, you are very clairvoyant, clairsentient, or clairaudient. So you want to sense and feel other people's feelings and emotions not necessarily is yours five 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 so for me what i do is how i transmit the energy is like if i become too emotionally moody or i feel like i'm just having emotions out the blue that's not mine i would do something productive with myself that motivates me to get that energy out like i will put it in my passions like i will speak it out verbally or whatever the case may be just so it can meet and gravitate to other people because sometimes when i have messages or when i experience something at that moment that's making me emotional i feel as though that spirit way of telling me to act on it now so because my what my words are or the speech that i has to give right can like actually relieve a lot of people you get what i'm saying like it could just like be like whoo okay there's one less chip on my shoulder. Now I know that it's not just me feeling that way. Or it's not just me thinking that way. Or it's just not me. Like, you get what I'm saying? So it's true for everything. So we got the Hermit card. Wow. Some of you guys are like really have ascended to where the, you are an ascended master yourself. So when you leave this lifetime and pass on, you will be an ascended. Wow. This is beautiful. That's why I love when the energy changes and it shifts. Okay. That's why so many people be trying to steal your intellectual property or steal. Like they're trying to like figure out how you think. Like you got people trying to tap into your psyche because it's your, it's the way, how can I explain this? You probably got Aquarius in your chart. Sagittarius in your chart or Virgo. So, you know, Sagittarius is a very spiritual sign because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. That's all about expansion and abundance. And then, you know, we got Virgo, which is the hermit. Virgo energy. Oh, snap, y'all. Here you go. See, now my spirit guys getting on my ass because they like, how you forget that? How you forget that? Uh, Virgo is all about philosophy. I'm th uh, uh, I don't want to say seventh house. I really feel eighth house, but... Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? We all make mistakes. whoop de doo You're moving on from it. But, um, yeah, hermit. The hermit card is all about, like, philosophy. So, the hermit is someone that goes through a lot of... Like, you you in the trenches when you a hermit. Like, you rely in the trenches because you're going with things. You, you even reveal the most deepest, darkest things about yourself or things that you don't want other people to see about you. And that's the thing. Like, when you go within, you got to, like, bring out things that you had hidden within you from a child. Like, so all your little, like, imaginations. If you had an imaginary friend when you was young or a child or you still have, like, that playful energy as a child, it's like you going within and you bringing it out. So when you do present yourself to the world, you don't feel ashamed about it. Okay? So I'm guessing people look at you and they feel like you should be ashamed of yourself. Like, oh, no, nah, you was embarrassing. Like, how? that's why I said the last reading was just a bunch of bull crap like just a lot of people just looking at you because you can do the things that they can't do and you're not afraid or ashamed to do it okay like your journey is going to look different from everybody else's journey just period like just because they're doing this one way don't mean that you're going to look the same or do the same as them that's what people got to understand bro like real life that's why i love the fact that i actually take this journey in and embrace it Okay, because it just helped you get a lot of perspective about people's wave patterns, like their wavelengths. Like some people go far to an extent to where they're like they will think so far out that half of the time when they have these perceptions about other people, about a particular person that they don't even know about, 
It's like when you grasp it and you really back in, it's like, bro, where did you even get that form of indication from? Like, what even makes you think to even say that about this person? That's why it's getting to the point to where the overlooking and looking past me, it's like, okay, I don't even care anymore. And you can tell I don't care because I can just openly talk about it, 10, 10, 10, and not feel no kind of way about it. Because somewhere down the line, you got to look over and look past when you're not for everyone. So we got this Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. You're like a visionary leader, bruh. That's what I said. It's like you alone is a movement by yourself. And I said that in my last reading, if I didn't, if I'm not sure or whatever. That's why you have so many people. It's like competing with you. But when you become a leader, it's other great leaders, okay? Everybody is a great leader, okay? In your own little way. That's why I said the things you do is not going to make sense to a lot of people on why you are a leader, okay? You was chosen to become this leader and this inspirational person, whether you're a man or a woman, because it's how you move with the Knight of Wands. It's like you real life make shit happen. You feel me? And it's not only in the physical realm, 1111, it's in the spiritual realm as well. Some of you guys, you don't even know, just your voice alone moves things in the spiritual realm and in the physical. As I said, y'all gotta like, just start tapping more into you and just tune out everybody else. Like, I know I be watching other readers, but it's getting to the point to where though, if they're not motivating me to real life be the best version of myself or who I'm called to be, then I don't even want to watch you. Like, yeah, okay, I might see some things pop up in my timeline about love, but that's a distraction. 1144. That's a distraction from you pursuing your goals. You feel me? That's why it's like now, anytime I see something, I want it to be like motivational. I want it to motivate me. Give me that drive, that ambition to like go after my dreams, go after my goals. Make me want to accomplish and become someone, something of myself. You get what I'm saying? That's the energy we all 